welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm coming to you with your weekly oracle card reading. I know it's a bit late in the week, but perhaps this will still be helpful for you. And um, yeah, these oracle card readings are actually timeless. You can come to them at any time and choose any one of them. And so, you know, uh, I want to apologize to my regular viewers and subscribers who actually do wait for the uh, weekly oracle card reading. I really just couldn't do it this week. I've had a lot of challenges and I've needed to travel and I'm also now doing this from a different location so I, I don't really have my proper setup so I apologize for background audio and uh, just the quality of the audio in general. We have three oracle card decks here, uh, deck one, deck two and deck three. Go ahead, make a selection and uh, you can go down to the timestamp to find your reading. All right, Thank you very much and let's get into it. So for those of you who've chosen the first deck here, this is the Healing with the Fairies Oracle Cards. We're asking what is our guidance for this week or what is our guidance at this time? What is it that we need to know at this time? And we have moving forward fearlessly. So it's very interesting because the energies that we have right now are quite um, reminiscent of older times when this was an energy that was quite predominant. Uh, so I'm talking about uh, around the early 2000s. And I don't know if, you, if many of you can remember that time or remember what that was like, but if you can remember, well, not the early 2000, 2000 sorry, I'm thinking between like 2005 and 2010. And this card here talks predominantly about that kind of energy. So let me know if you're feeling or having some of the challenges or um, going through some of the similar things that you've been going through back then in the day. So this card is actually talking about getting beyond the lyrical aspect of moving forward fearlessly and actually embracing that and what does it really mean what does it actually mean to to go ahead and to do things in a different way what it, what are you, what is expected of you when you do when you move forward fearlessly how can you actually plan out your day or uh uncover your day in a way that embodies that essence of moving forward fearlessly so in doing so we are asked at this moment to look within and see and observe ourselves. So this is also very much a time in which we're observing ourselves. And interestingly enough, some of that uh, that observation might be working through things that occurred maybe 10 years ago or, or longer. So it's about working with those kind of things and you're gonna realize that you have actually come a long way since then and um, you have actually grown a lot. And one of the, the feelings that are coming up for me here is that you're going to realize that you're no longer that person. And if you've been giving yourself a hard time because you need to overcome certain things, you need to work on yourself, or you know you just want to improve yourself, you're actually going to take a moment, a, a break from that, and, and realize that uh, this moment is really about enjoying, it's about being in gratitude for how far you've actually come. So this is in fact a really important time in terms of that. So this is in fact a really important time in terms of that. The other message that I'm getting here is don't be afraid to step into something that you've been afraid to. So it brings me back to this theme of, you know, what happened back between 2005 and say 2010. Where is it? Or maybe even for some of you as early on as 2003, where were you at? What were you working with at that time? Because what it's saying to me right now is that you may have wanted to begin something then or step into something then, but you were unable to for whatever reason. And right now those opportunities are waking, awake, are opening up for you again and waking up for you is the message I actually got. And so you can actually try something new and don't be af afraid of, of of trying that. Don't be afraid of, of dipping your toes um, quite literally into something that's new and um, well, that's familiar and old, but that you were not able to do um, before. Coming back to what I've said already in terms of being observing yourself, in terms of actually taking note of where you're at, you will find that now you're more prone to watching yourself and watching how you behave and how you respond and how you react to others and to difficult situations. And there's something to be gained from that. There's something to be, with this observation comes a moment for you to reflect and to, to learn 
learn more about yourself and learn what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And in doing so, you are able to plan ahead and work more strategically at going towards where you need to go to, whatever that may be. And this is moving forward fearlessly means that in this particular context. So I'm just going to take this card in my hand for a moment just to feel if there's anything else here that you need to hear. Okay, so the other thing I've gotten here is that as you come into this time, it's like you're being, you've been reborn. It's like you have rebirthed yourself and you are actually going to be coming into a new domain almost. It's, it's like you have all these chances that are given to you again. It's like you're very young again and, and you can start off new. And if you do, where which direction can you go into? And I'm just being reminded that as you know, you every day, every new day is an opportunity for you to rebirth yourself and to begin anew and for you to create something new in your life. And so this is what I'm being shown again. It's like this, this innocence that is being shown to me that you have right now and that you can, you know, like cynicism or bitterness, whatever it is that you may have or may not have is actually falling away. And it's, uh, it's just you and your your being and what is ahead of you and how is it that you relate to that and how is it that you respond to that and so yeah I will I hope that message has been helpful and uh, yeah and I am really sorry that I couldn't get this out to you as always on the on on the first day of um, uh, of the of the week and um, I will try I will definitely get this out to you on Sunday or Monday in this upcoming week. All right, so sending you lots of love and I look forward to seeing you at my next reading. So for those of you who've chosen the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards, which is the second option, the question we're asking is, what is it that you need at this moment and what is it that you need to hear right now? What is your guidance going forward at this moment? Okay, we have White Tara and the card, this caption sensitivity and the excerpt here is you're becoming increasingly sensitive, avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations and chemicals. So unfortunately, I'm, I'm not able to get there as clear as I can. So I might, my setup is just different right now. So I apologize for the quality of the video or the audio as you may receive it today. So basically, uh, the message here is that there's a sense where this this vulnerability here, this vulnerability in your in your environment and in um, in in you, in you, with regard to your environment. So the question is, what is it that you need to be doing for yourself that you are not able to do right now? Or where is it that you need to be paying more attention? And I feel like quite literally, you need to be avoiding harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. You need to surround yourself with only that which gives you a feeling of being nurtured, of being loved, of being rewarded, of being appreciated. And if there's anyone who's being harsh to you or anyone that's being unkind to you right now, either step away from that situation, walk away from it, or say quite kindly to them, I don't appreciate it when you speak to me in this manner, or I don't like it when you talk to me in this manner. Please speak to me in a more polite manner, in a kinder manner. But very clearly here, it is that you are being harmed by that which influences you, by your external, by what that which is external to you. So whether it's your environment, whether it's pollutants, whether it is chemicals, you know, look at the pollutants that you have in your, um, in the products that you use, whether they be uh, wash products or beauty products, and and look at the 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 side effects of those things, um, and try to get out of your environment or your daily usage things that may have poisons in it or have uh, carcinogenic um, impacts or effects. So yes, take a look at what products you use and see what it is that you need to remove from your daily usage. Look again at what foods you eat and pay attention to how it's grown and what's, re what's really coming into your body, whether it's through your skin or whether it's through you know, just eating products. Um, and 
try to remove yourself from any stress that you may have. So this is the way I see it is, or the way I feel it rather, is that this is a time for you to heal and to recuperate and to actually come into being. It feels like there's something that's going to be ahead of you like in two weeks or three weeks from now, which is going to be quite a big event and a, a new beginning for you. It might even be as soon as another week from now uh, for some of you. And it could be that whatever, even if it's not a big event in something that you know, you're know you aware of, it could be something that happens like quite unexpectedly and it's not a bad thing it's actually a good thing of what I'm here what I'm feeling right now and it's something that allows you to embark on a whole new trajectory in your life and things are never going to be the same again it's just changing your whole life is changing for some of you right so this message what I've just said right now is not doesn't pertain to every single person here but I feel it pertains to at least like 30 percent of you and so this is um this is something that you need to pre prepare yourself for. It's like a moment of going inward and looking after yourself, nurturing yourself. It's like hibernation before the storm or before the, the big, you know, it's like looking after yourself before the big storm, like batting down the hatches. And then in other cases, it's like going in and taking care of your body, taking care of your well-being, paying attention to what you lay on your skin once again or use on your skin and what you actually use, um, what you're eating. Because it's almost like you need to detox as well during this moment. There's this feeling of detoxification or a feeling of um, get becoming clear, clear of that which is harmful, that which is which doesn't serve. This card is about being more in touch with the things that are around you, whether it be people or, or, or actual things. Well, the influences around you, I should say, impact you and how that actually ultimately serves you or does not serve you and what is the impact of it in the long term so this card is talking about actually taking care of yourself in a moment in which you need it it's like looking after a newborn baby somebody who's actually needing all that care right now and needing a lot of attention it's it's about you taking care of yourself in this at this moment with that it's also about um when you do this it's almost as if you remove certain filters. So this is where the vulnerability comes in. It's This is a moment where you are removing certain filters. And when you remove certain filters, you might be not as protected as you can, can usually be. So this card is advising that remove yourself from outside influences while you are going through this process. Do not put yourself in a situation where you might be harmed or you may be receiving like you may be insulted or people may be rude to you um you know so consider like if you invited to go to a place that where it's where it's quite rowdy and maybe there's smoke in the environment or if you are if you're not used to being in a smoke environment that is you know consider reconsider going to this place because this is going to be quite harmful for you and so really take whatever measures you can to be really extra gentle with yourself at this moment because you need this in order to be able to nurture yourself. And for some of you, there's something like that you're preparing for that's going to come out that's going to be quite big. And it's the beginning of a whole new journey. And I'm getting goose pimples as I say this. I'm literally like it's all over. For some of you, it's it's going to be encompassing the next three to four to five years of your life. And it's going to be a whole new direction that you're going to. So that's quite an odd message you receive from an Oracle card. But um, but it feels to me like some of you needed to hear this. So I hope that that message does help you. All right. And once again, I apologize for any um, noise in the background and the, um, the quality. So I hope that's been helpful. And now moving on. So for those of you who've chosen this deck of cards here, the question is, what is it that you need to hear at this moment? And I feel it's this one here. So the card is be courageous. So where is it that you're not courageous? Where is it that you're feeling like you're lacking courage or that you're lacking what you need to be able to go ahead? Where is it that you're feeling like you just you is not enough? Being you is not is not going to cut it at this moment because this card is saying to me that you are victorious and they see you victorious in whatever it is that you need to do and how you need to move ahead and you simply need to do it you need to simply believe that you can do it and go ahead with it because once you allow yourself to believe that you actually can do it you're going to be able to get into it quite easily and you're going to be able to 
break down all the walls that you've built in front of you, all the obstacles that are not allowing you to go forward. And if these are external obstacles, if these are people that, because I get the feeling here that it's people, people are getting at you, right? So this might not apply to every single one of you, but it certainly applies to some of you. <laughs> and this is why I'm getting this feeling so strongly. Uh, but basically, these people who are getting to you, you don't need to change them. You know, you don't need to change their opinion or you don't need to get them to see you in a different light. You actually just need to be you. You need to be you and you need to believe in yourself because as you start believing in yourself, there's nothing that's going to stop you. Everyone, everything else becomes irrelevant. When you know that you can do this, when you know that you can actually go ahead and get this done, it's going to be so much easier for you to just go ahead. You're not going to feel any resistance because all this resistance that you're feeling is actually a manifestation of your own. It's actually, okay, so some of you might be getting angry with me when I say that, but it's <laughs> that what I'm hearing here is that it, it's something that you built up for you, yourself. It's all these kind of mirages, you know, like wondering, like, how are they going to respond? Oh, what's going to happen here? And what's going to happen there? It's all these fears. And it's not really you believing that you can succeed. If you believe that you can succeed, you believe that you can actually do what it is that you need to do, you're going to go right ahead and you're going to go ahead and do that. Nothing's going to stop. Nothing's going to come in your way. But if you don't, if you're lacking courage, what's happening is that you're building all these walls in front of you. And one is, you know, maybe what, and as an example, what they think, or what, another one is, you know, how will that happen? Or what if I fail? Or if, if I, see, I can see myself failing? And there's all these there's all these uh, reasons why you can't actually do what you need to do. And this is something that you, this card is addressing. It's saying, listen, just break down those walls. If you believe in yourself, if you believe you can succeed, and if you believe you're going to be okay, then you don't, all those walls will just fall away. And then you'll actually be dealing quite directly with the situation at hand. And that's nothing to be afraid of because you have the power to be able to deal with this. So the other thing I'm hearing here is that um, in order to believe in yourself, you need to actually recognize that you have the ability to do this. And for some of you, it's like you you don't trust that you can actually do this. And this, but this card is saying to me, you can. It's obvious that you can. Like, look at you. You obviously can. Like, look at what you've done already and look at how far you've come. And you obviously can. And you know what? Not It's not just you can. Everyone can. This is not like, you know, rocket science, as they would say. Um, this is something that is well within your grasp and you need to be able to understand that in order to be able to believe it. So that was one of the messages that I've gotten for you for today. I feel there's another message lurking underneath here. Ah, yes. I'm being told that you need to prepare yourself, okay? And if you're feeling any feelings of being overwhelmed, you need to just deal with that first, you know. You need to just work with yourself so that you're not being overwhelmed. Because a lot of your fears have been created because you've not been ready. So you haven't prepared yourself. So you've gone into a battle without your um, armor. And so you felt flustered and you felt uh, overwhelmed and you weren't coping. And so now you are um, nervous to, to try and tackle this again. Uh, or if, for many of you, this is the first time you are, you, are, you are going in this path or this direction and you haven't had the, this before, but it's like you don't trust yourself because you've, you've uh, had a blunder before and you're not really sure about it. So there is also a message that's quite specific and I think it's only for a couple of you, but um, it's like the message here is basically be prepared, be actually you know, take care of all your needs. Think about what it's going to, what you're going to need as you go ahead in the next months for whatever you're going to be doing. And think about how it is that you can help yourself. How is it that you can support yourself as you go through this process? Because you're going to need that support. You're going to need that. Um, it's going to come in handy, whatever it is that you're going to be using, you know, your armor as you go into the battle. For some of you, I'm hearing the word vitamins. So I think it's like for some of you, you've got to take care of your vitamins. For others, it's simply working with yourself and understanding who you are and what why you're doing this and that's going to make all the difference for others it's really just technical stuff it's like getting things together it's like physical things that you may need to purchase or 
or you have already, but you just need to collect that or pack that or, or take it with or recognize what it is that you need, right? So that's a really important part of this. It's like recognizing what you need and how you go about preparing for, your, for it and believing that you actually can do this because that's going to, once again, break down all those walls that you've built ahead of you. All right, so I hope that's been a helpful message. And yeah, I'm wishing all of you very, very well as you go ahead. I want to apologize for any of any of the background noises and for the quality of the video. I'm going to be on track uh, from next week on with your Oracle card reading. So sending you so much love and all the best as you go ahead.